All right, guys. Um, this is MAMP. I'm going to show you how to install this on your computer system. Today it's on the Mac. It's very similar on the Windows systems as well. It gives you a local server environment. So basically, if you wanted to do websites in whether it's WordPress, PrestaShop, or whatever, it can accommodate most website software and gives you an environment where you can test things. In my case, I'm using a PrestaShop site, and the reason I'm doing it locally is there's a lot of files and stuff attached to it, so it's quite a large site, and it's much easier to do it locally than upload it when it's complete. So that's that's why I'm using it. Um, I found a lot of the tutorials were actually out of date, which is why I put this one up today. So if you want it, it's mamp.info for the website, and all you do is a free download. You click on free download, and you just click it here for the Mac, for the Windows, just drag it down. I'm also doing Presser Shop, so obviously I'm over here, which is pressershop.com, and you just put your email in there, and you only have to click the top one, the bottom one's for the junk mail which you don't want. Once you've got it downloaded, um, we'll go through the install installation process in a second. Okay, now we've got the files down. We open up MAMP, just double click on it. It's down as a package, PKG, so it'll open up and be quite quick to install. The reason I've chosen this one is actually it's very, very simple to install. So as you can see, it goes through an intro, click continue, it talks about where it wants to install, do you believe in this, how you agreement, blah, blah, blah. You read that, I'll skip over it, continue. Have I read it? Yes, I agree. Install. And then you just gotta put your password in there. And away it goes. And it won't take long to install. And quite simply, that's why a lot of people use MAMP because it's not a case of having to configure it all. Most of it is pre-configured and quick to install and quick to use. And once you've installed this, it's ready to go. Um, and I'm going to show you the next bit, which is actually we'll put PrestaShop into it so you can see where the folder is that is where you actually do your WordPress or your, um, well, your WordPress, PrestaShop, Drupal, whatever software you're using. I'll show you that bit because that's one of the things I noticed in some of the tutorials. They're out of date. The folder is different now. Okay, as you can see, MAMP's now installed. As you can see, the Apache server and MySQL servers are not running, so you'll have to click Start Servers. Show it out a few seconds, but mine's a little bit slower because I've got other process going on in the background. It will open this window for you as well. One of the things you will need for your database is you'll have to create one in PHP MyAdmin, um, which you just click on that, and then you create the information around that um, new database give it a name and away you go um, but I'm not going to cover that too much today because that's a whole new uh, realm to be in but what we're going to do is this is the main page you've got as you can see here your MySQL server already has your information related to what port it's on you username password go bear in mind that because it's a local server you haven't um, set it up for people to log in externally anyway so your firewall on your router will protect the majority of anybody tampering with your system anyway coming in that way um, but the point being that's your MySQL setup bit about your PHP and bits about their websites and things and Twitter accounts and medium accounts for updates and things so what we're looking at we'll get rid of that the local host I say you just give it a name and that will create your first one. But what I'm looking at today is just getting you started. So I want to drop this window down for a minute so you can see me again. Um, one of the things you've got to recognize as well is that in your launch pad, if you're looking for it, it's now created these little icons, MAMP Pro and MAMP. And it's MAMP that will actually open this up. And you can configure it up here. In your preferences so that when it starts up it always runs a service there you go when starting man always runs a service so it saves having to do that every time you log in next thing is if you go to applications and if you can't find this do a search up here just put applications in it all with the, the little uh, hourglass yeah, hourglass not hourglass um, spyglass 
and it will look for the application folder. And what you're looking for is MAMP and MAMP Pro. MAMP Pro, we're leaving to one side because we're not using the Pro version today. We're going to MAMP, which isn't just a little happy, nice logo, it's actually a folder. So if we double click on it, and then what we're looking for is HT Docs. This is one of the things that has changed in some of the tutorials because before they used to just put it in here, but now you have to put it in HT Docs. As you can see, I've already moved Press the Shop across. So I'm going to extract it. Open with Beyond Archiver. So this is actually installing Presto Shop into the folder. As you can see, it's just created this folder, but it's not a full uninstall, so you have to uninstall it again. Uh, sorry, install it again. Uh, so you open on Archiver because it puts a folder within a folder because the first one is installation, knows how we upload it to the internet, all that sort of stuff. Um, it's worth opening that as well just to go through the settings that you some of them will be the same as MAMP but I'm not going to cover that in this video I just want to show you we'll get the website up and running up to the installation point and I'll do another video for the presser shop because not everybody needs it. it's nearly finished and then we'll probably create another folder so what I want to do with this swap that over to where I can see all the folders oh hang on this one and I'm going to take press to shop this one and put it here so this is now a working version of press to shop and if we open web the web start easiest way of finding your websites by the way you just get rid of everything up to the 888 that's where your server is you know so if I click that that's now showing me that Presto Shop exists and yet what I generally do is I, I'll rename this to the website name because I don't need it going to later on when I upload it going to uh, www.com then it open it up in Presto Shop I just need it to change the domain name so I'll change that to the domain name later uh, but now I double click on that and you'll see it's now taking a little minute to go and have a think and it's now ready for installation and that's it. I mean, it's that, it's that simple, it's that quick. You can be up and running in about 10, 15 minutes. And then obviously you need to set a database up for PrestaShop, WordPress or whatever, um, which is another thing, but it's not, it's not difficult. It's gonna take about another couple of minutes. Thanks for watching.